April. We begin overseas with the major Asian Pacific markets continuing to trade mixed overnight. This with Japan's Nikkei 225 index on the upside 1.6%. Meanwhile, Hong Kong's Hang Seng index that fell half of 1%, and the Shanghai Composite that also retreated 0.1%. European markets, meanwhile, they are in the red. Just while the United States did see their stock futures open up on the upside, surging 128 points. And just right now, Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke is beginning his testimony before the Joint Economic Committee of Congress. And at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Federal Reserve will release the minutes from its FOMC April 30th to May 1st monetary policy meeting. The big debate is whether the Fed could taper off bond purchases sooner than the markets expect. Meanwhile, turning focus overseas, the Bank of Japan, it elected to keep its monetary policy unchanged as expected at its May policy meeting. And the release of minutes from the Bank of England's May 8th and 9th monetary policy meeting revealed that the central bank remained split 6-3 to three against restarting the Bank of England's bond buying program. Meanwhile, keeping in the United Kingdom, it reported disappointing retail sales data for the month of April. Sales fell 1.4% last month after contracting 0.7% the month month before. And then corporate news, home improvement retailer Lowe's for this reported its first quarter earnings of 49 cents per share, below analyst concession estimate of 51 cents. Sales came in at 13.15 billion dollars and that also fell short of expectations. Meanwhile, Ford Motor says it will expand production at its North American plants by 200,000 units in 2013, this by expanding production lines as well as shortening its summer shutdown. But by a week at many of its factories. Meanwhile, Sony's board of directors is discussing a plan to spin off a part of its film and music arm submitted by hedge fund manager Dan Loeb, the company's biggest investor. And lastly, just released, we had existing home sales figures for the month of April in the United States, and they rose 0.6%.